crazy. I seriously never know what's gonna happen the next day. I never know what email I'm gonna get. I never know what phone call I'm gonna get and what story I'm gonna hear. And internally, I've gotta figure out how am I gonna communicate that message, that story of somebody that needs this to people in a way that it's not sad. I, I decided early on, we don't wanna be the sad face organization. I wanna tell stories of hope. Um, and so we got her story, and Miss Betty is what we call her. Miss um, Betty was in charge of her. She was a single caretaker of her 40-year-old Down syndrome son and her two great grandkids. And so I've got to figure out how to tell that story. And I walk in to meet her after we, we, she needed a refrigerator. That's her in front of a refrigerator. And I walk in, and all of them are staying in a one-bedroom house. Like her, her kitchen's here, and she's got a little ice box that, that her meat and her milk's in. And then, all, you know, she's got a separate area for her son and then her grandkids. And she walks over, and she goes, you know what's funny about this? I said, what? She said, nobody stays in their place that they're supposed to be in. We're one just big, happy family. And, and, uh, and so she, she's so sweet. And so we get these stories all the time. And so we've got to figure out how to communicate that message um, to other people. And so we're going to actually communicate um, a new thing today. Um, so as we're meeting these people and we're telling these stories, what I do is I go around and say, hey, here's what we're doing. And if you like what we're doing, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter with the idea of what would Atlanta look like with 50,000, 100,000 people getting a message like this at the same time. Um, so what we're going to do, um, the easiest way to get involved, if you text the words follow be remedy to 40404. Um, if you want to do it right now, um, if you're on Twitter, that'll just make sure that you're getting mobile updates from us. That's all that that does. Um, if you'd rather just follow us on Twitter, that's okay. But mobile updates help you get the, the updates immediately. And at 12 o'clock today, the reason I shared her story with you is we're going to post another need really similar to hers. Um, it's, it's two parents and a couple kids, and the parents are sleeping on the floor. They don't have, they don't have a bed for themselves. So for that family, we need to provide a refrigerator and a bed for them. So at 12 o'clock, we're going to post a need, and if this community, Jeff and I talked about it, and one of the slogans of plywood people is to be known by the problems we solved. So what if this group of people, by just simply reposting a message on Facebook and Twitter, we provided a bed and a refrigerator for somebody, and we were known today by a problem that this group of people solved. Um, the other things that, that we have, we have Facebook, just like us on Facebook and, and Twitter, if your phones are out, I mean, it would help a lot if we went ahead and did that. Um, if you went ahead and did that for us now, so that when that story happens later today, um, that you'd repost it for us. Um, so I've kind of told you what we've done. I've only got 10 minutes, so I'm, I'm kind of wrapping this up really quick. Um, the future is, is really exciting. What we've done and, and what we're doing now is great. We're going to continue to do it. Um, but you guys are kind of getting the inside peek of, of where we're headed. Um, the concept of B-Remedy has always been local but it's never been small. Um, and the concept that I've, I truly believe in is that we have the resources in every community to meet the needs of that community. If you're smart, you're thinking ahead, you're like, well, wait, no, there's, there's a handful of places where that doesn't work. We've got kind of a 10 year plan for that where we're gonna, we're gonna start here and then we're gonna evolve this plan out into parts of the world where this, this uh, system doesn't work. Um, but what we're doing, um, we're going to, I'm going to be the guy with, this, with the tight t-shirt on that thinks he's really clever right now. Um, but we're actually building a social tool to take what we're doing in Atlanta and take it nationwide and ultimately worldwide. Um, and what that's actually going to do is we're going to actually be able to, to have a global giving community of people that are ready to give. We're going to interact them with brands and churches and social organizations. And we're going to collectively take on these problems. So that's kind of the, the snapshot of it. So a lot of what Simon was talking about, we, we've already talked and we're already on the same page. What we're building is going to be not the answer, but it's going to be a tool to measure some of this stuff. And it's going to be a play. We hope that it's going to be a player in that. So Jeff, you can come on up. Um, so what we're doing today is in, in hope of collaboration. We're looking for three things as we move forward. Um, we're looking for developers that want to help us develop this technology that we're building. Um, we need more social media strategists. If you're a social media guru or, or just would love to help us tweet and sit down with us a couple times and think about our strategy as we're launching this nationwide and worldwide, I'd love for you to come on board with us. And we're also looking for a handful of nonprofits that would like to test this thing as we're starting here in Atlanta um, and that would like to go ahead and say, hey, look, as we launch in other cities, we'd love to be the first one on board and bring our whole network on with that. So if any of you have connections to nonprofits that would be interested in that, 
Um, I'll be around all day and tonight and uh, love to connect with everybody. What I love about this project is it's actionable instantly. Like you see the results. The minute that he posts something, it's like you see a tweet literally two minutes later just go, oh, it's been taken care of, you know? And I think that's just a beautiful idea of being able to use social technology to address social needs, right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's what you're doing every day, day in and day out. And um, so thank you for doing this. Let's yeah. go to for Blake. Thanks.